Hello, everyone. Welcome to our show today called NG English. My name is John Drummond or Yang Haolin. Hello, 大家好，欢迎回到我们西平方的节目 NG 英文。我是 Angela. We have a great show for you today with our good friend Edwin Gerard, who's known around the Taiwanese community as Ji Yawen. 对啊，今天我们非常幸运的邀请到了混血帅哥演员兼模特儿季亚文 Edwin Gerard 来到我们 NG 英文节目，跟大家散播他的大爱。介绍他们的慈善活动，同时呢，也分享他是怎么开始发展演艺事业，以及嘞，他一路走来啊，中英双语转换，学中文又学英文的心得。That is correct, Miss Angela Ma. But before we get to the interview with Edwin and I, Angela is going to help us break down some of the cultural differences Edwin spoke about, particularly about how to borrow a bathroom in English versus Chinese. Yo, bro, you can't borrow my bathroom. Let me just put it that way. <laughs> so take it away, Angela, on NG Yingwen. 好的，没问题 ，John。谢谢你的介绍。那没有错，今天我们要来聊聊中文这句常常会用到的“借厕所”到底英文要怎么表达才正确？请各位听众朋友赶快把 NG 七七这个 NG 英文专属的笔记小抄准备好，我们要开始喽。生活中，大家对于这句“可以借厕所吗”或是“跟人家借一下厕所”应该都不陌生吧？尤其是当我们遇到人在外面，附近又没有捷运站、没有公厕那种窘境，那这借厕所的英文到底应该要怎么说嘞？在待会的访谈中，季亚文 Edwin 他会讲到说，常常借厕所都会被直接翻译成 borrow the bathroom， 因为 borrow 这个字在中文就是借的意思嘛。那要借厕所的话，很自然就会想说，应该是用 borrow 这个字。但是各位听众朋友、各位乡亲、父老、乡亲朋友们。你们知道吗？如果我们说可以借厕所吗 ？May I borrow the bathroom？ 这样子不但没有把你想要跟人家借厕所的意思表达出来，甚至对方还会误会成你是要说把人家厕所整间借走，像是要把厕所浴室从房子或是餐厅里面搬走一样。那所以到底应该要怎么讲才对嘞？其实很简单，我们只要改用 use 这个字 ，u s e。就一切搞定，万事 OK 喽。因为 use 这个字有用、使用的意思。那当我们中文讲说借厕所的话，通常意思就是要借用人家厕所。所以只要把 borrow 借改成 use 用就可以喽。会讲成 May I 或是 Can I use the bathroom？ 那另外还有一个重点，大家要小心的就是中文里面啊，这东西我借你，你借他，他借我。一样都用借这个字来表示就可以，但是英文的话呢，除了有 borrow 以外，还有 lend 这个字。你可能想说，那他们有什么不一样吗？有有有有，就跟同卵双胞胎一样，虽然长得好像哎一模一样，但其实还是有一些差异在哦。像是我今天就要没有带手机充电器，要跟朋友借，那因为他是要跟别人借，所以呢要用 borrow 这个字，句子就会是。Can I borrow your charger? Can I borrow your charger? 那在 John 借到拿去用之后，后来又有一个人要来跟这位朋友借充电器，但他手边已经没有多的啦，已经借给 John 了。那这时候的借就要用 lend, lend, l e n d。听起来好像、呃、好像有一点复杂哦，但是没有关系，我们只要记得东西跟人家借要用 borrow。Borrow， 那东西借出去的话，就要用 lend， lend。也就是说，刚才前面提到那一句，我可以跟你借充电器吗 ？Can I borrow your charger？ 因为是我跟人家借才用 borrow。如果今天是说充电器，可以借我吗？要朋友借你，是要借出去借给你，所以呢，我们要用，诶，用哪一个嘞？没错，就是要用 lend, l e n d， 这样子才对哦。讲成 Can you lend it to me? 或是 Can you lend me the charger? 好啦，希望刚才讲的这些对你的英文学习之路有所帮助。如果有漏掉、没有听到或是写下来的，也不用担心啦，可以上我们的 YouTube 频道，随时要听几次就给他听几次。那如果大家都已经准备好了的话，我们就赶快进入今天的访谈内容。听听我们帅哥型男演员 Edwin Gerard 季雅文的分享吧。All right, as always, thank you, Miss Angela Ma. 
for that wonderful NG Ingwen breakdown. So everyone, today on the show I am joined by a model, actor, activist, humanitarian, athlete, and incredible human. So everyone, please welcome my good friend Edwin. How's it going, guys? My, my name is Edwin Gerard, and uh, my Chinese name is Ji Yawen. Ji Yawen. Thanks for having me. Yeah, well, I high five everyone on the show. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's to make it official for uh, for NG Ingwen. Yeah, it's good energy. Yeah, man. So, dude, this has been super cool. I'm so glad you uh, you have some time to do our show because we we got to do a really cool charity event together. Can you speak a little bit about that? 访谈开始 ，John 讲到说啊，他跟 Edwin 季亚文两个其实有在进行一个 charity event 这个慈善活动哦。那是怎么样一个慈善活动嘞？季亚文说，大概在三年前，几个朋友呢决定要 turn words into action， 要实际行动去帮助有需要的人。那怎么做嘞？他说，整个 concept 这个这个概念啊非常简单，就是去对有需要的人伸出援手。去 contribute， 去贡献，去捐献这样子，像可能捐赠一些生活用品啦、食物啦，或是金钱上的帮助，甚至就只是去现场帮忙 show some support， 去提供支援，提供这个行动上的支持。那这样也讲到说啊，西雅文他们还会去做 beach cleanups 这个净滩，或是提供 soup kitchen 的服务。那这个 soup kitchen 呢，就是提供免费或是很便宜的食物给有需要的人吃。那甚至在逢年过节的时候啊，也会有一些活动哦。那我们就赶快来认识认识这位季雅文，听听他慈善活动的分享吧。Yeah, uh, yeah, I'd like to thank you for coming out, by the way. Oh, dude, so, thank you for inviting. So, um, a few, f- couple friends, uh, about three years ago, decided that they'd like to um turn words into action, and the 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 only the the this it's a simple concept. It's pretty much. Find people who need help, who are less fortunate than you, and perhaps we can go and、uh, contribute in one way or another. Be it、um, contribute goods, food, or or money, or just showing up and showing some support. Yeah, man, I I really I really respect kind of what you and and all our friends in this foundation are are working on. And you know, there's beach cleanups, there's kind of soup kitchens, and and there's really nice.、Um, Kind of charity events that go around the holiday times, and is that something you're kind of working on right now with a, a Christmas event? 那上段我们讲到啊，季雅文他们常常在逢年过节的时候也会做一些这个 charity events 慈善活动。那接下来他们要继续分享一些他们针对圣诞节会做的一些事。相信各位听众朋友你们也知道，不是每个小朋友都很幸福，有爸爸妈妈有家人的陪伴送圣诞礼物。所以啊，季亚文他们呢就联络了一些孤儿院，大家等一下要听到他讲这个字 ，orphanages， 还有儿童医院 ，children's hospitals， 把很多卡片寄到这些机构、这些 organizations， 让那边的小朋友啊，他们把愿望或是希望得到的圣诞礼物写在那些卡片上面之后，再送回给季亚文他们。那最后呢，他们就会有点像是担任这个圣诞老公公的角色，想尽办法完成这些孩子的愿望，让他们也度过一个快乐的圣诞节。现在我们就赶快来听听这段施比受更有福的分享，把这个圣诞活动的消息传出去吧。So what we're targeting right now is providing Christmas gifts for people or kids who normally Perhaps their parents are gone, or their other family members are gone, and they don't have the opportunity to receive Christmas gifts. So we're reaching out to orphanages as well as the children's hospital, and the program goes as like this: basically, we send cards out to these organizations, and each kid will write on each card what they would like. It's like a it's a wish card, so、mm-hmm. what they would like for Christmas. And what we do is we take the cards back. And we find a way to make the wish happen for every single one of these kids. That's so pure and selfless, and I really, I really believe in what you guys are doing. So hopefully, we can we can share this message and kind of continue to help you guys build that in any any way we can. You know, just the act of giving is an act in itself for the betterment of others. Yeah, man,、uh, the vibes are high. You know, the act of giving is 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 a beautiful thing, and. You know, we're seeing smiles on our faces just as much as we are kind、yeah. of around. So, I I would love if we could kind of share a little bit about your your wonderful acting career. So you have been an actor now、uh, for many years, but you kind of took a little break. Is that correct? 
。接下来我们要来聊聊季雅文 Edwin 他的这个 acting career， 他的演艺事业。待会呢 ，John 会问到说，哎 ，Edwin 他之前是不是有休息一段时间没有演戏啦？他说通常不是那种 proactive 会那种。主动提这件事的人，不过既然提到了，他就跟大家来聊一下。他之前呢在海外住了长达十七年哦，但因为妈妈是台湾人，就想说，哎，要回来陪陪家人，所以就搬回台湾了。那在他回来这段期间呢，他也有持续在学中文，特别是 reading and writing， 在阅读和写的部分。他说，因为他小时候是讲中文长大的，所以呢，这个 conversational Chinese 口语中文呢练到比较多。然后他等一下也会讲到说，他台湾呢、啊、有一位 cousin， 就是这个堂表兄弟姐妹里面其中一位，在演艺公司担任经理。那问他说，哎，有没有兴趣去拍这个 TVC 这个 television commercial？ 那当时 Edwin 你完全不知道是怎么进行的、啊，就想说啊，这可能是地下室或是一间工作室里面，然后可能就一些摄影机啊，然后然后要给摄影大哥拍几张脸部照片，这样几句话这样子。后来才知道，哎，事情也没有那么简单。尤其是当他要在镜头面前有自信的自我介绍的时候。不过他说他非常幸运哦，在众多广告候选人这个 candidates 之中，他就被选上了，而且发现自己其实蛮有兴趣朝这方面发展。后来就慢慢开始接触演戏，也更积极把中文学好，还到大陆去发展演电视、电影啊，甚至舞台剧都有哦。那在演艺圈发展五年之后呢？某次因缘际会下认识了一位这个网球选手，因为 Edwin 他本身也是有这个网球背景啊，所以后来就慢慢淡出演艺圈，加入他这个网球队，一直到最近呢，才又开始慢慢回到荧光幕前。哎呀，讲了这么多，不如我们直接来听 Edwin 分享比较实在。Yeah, I mean, I'm a pretty private guy, and I normally don't bring bring this stuff up in conversation on my own. I'm not that proactive in in these regards. But、uh, yeah, I've been back for 12 years, and when I first came back, the initial reason I came back was to spend some time with family because my mom is from Taiwan, and、uh, I was living overseas for 17 years, and、uh, so spend time with the family as well as、uh, study reading and writing of Chinese because I grew up only speaking conversational Chinese, and my cousin at the time was a manager of a certain entertainment company. And she asked me if I was interested in going to some TVC commercials,、mm -hmm. and I was like, "What is TVC? What does that stand for?" Do、TV、you want me to answer? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> television commercial. I already know all about it. Yeah, yeah. Television commercial. I was like,、okay. I didn't know. Also, when I first got my first TVC, I didn't know. I was I mean, like, "What's TVC?" I'm like, so in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, I got to show up at some studio or something, some you know, some basement, and then there'll be a camera up there, and I might have to. Wait, you know, hours just to go up and and do some like really I don't know just just you know show some angles in my face maybe say a couple words I had no idea what I was getting myself into so the first thing you ha you have to learn with this is like 自我介绍 right 自我介绍 yeah I mean it seems like a simple task but in actuality it's pretty hard like in any language yeah <laughs> because they're you know they're asking you to.、Uh, Uh, just say your name, where you're from,、uh, your, how how tall you are, and how your yeah, weight. Your weight. Yeah, and、exactly. then some of your interests. Your age and your interests. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're doing this like interview on camera as well, too. You know. Yeah. So. You just want、uh, to see your confidence, which you are a very confident guy, even though you are private. I know, but you're confident. Uh, I don't know about that. Is that the vibe I give off? <laughs> yeah, I, I think it is. I think I think you have a lot of confidence, but you're just a humble. You're a humble. You're a humble pie. We'd、uh, say it, in、uh, in America. <laughs> thank you for saying that, man. <laughs> yeah. So because of these TV commercials, I became interested in、uh, being in front of the camera. So I wanted to, you know, learn more about it. And I got lucky with these TV,、uh, a couple of TV commercials because I got the job. And I think it's. You need a lot of luck. It's kind of like a crapshoot.、Mm -hmm. You're going in there. There might be hundreds of other people, candidates, and you're lucky. Perhaps you're not the best candidate, but the client likes you. So anyway, yeah, I got lucky with a couple of them. So I told myself, hey,、uh, I'd like to. What else can I do in this industry? Like, obviously, you can't be a, a TV commercial model the rest of your life, right? But perhaps it could spill into,、uh, could branch out into other areas of the entertainment circles. So I told myself, "Hey, I I gotta get into acting." So、mm -hmm. that was that spurred me on to, you know, get to learn Chinese even more so. So I started 
taking uh, more classes. So not just group class, but private classes as well. And we were reading, you know, Gu Wen and, and just stuff that you don't necessarily need to read in order to brush up on a language. So from these uh, TVC opportunities, um, I worked on the language aspects, and eventually I was able to uh, get some gigs in, in China uh, in, in dramas and, and movies as well as stage. I've even done a stage here yeah, in Chinese. Yeah, that's awesome. The, <laughs> the importance of being earnest nice. in Chinese. Oh, wow, that's incredible. Yeah, so I did that for five years, and then I had the opportunity to uh, work with one of the top tennis players here uh, because I have a tennis background. So I had, a, I had a chance to join her coaching team. So I moved away from the acting realm, and I did that for, for a while. And now I decided, hey, let's give it a shot again. So can we dive a little bit into your, your language? Because you have such a, you're so fluent in Chinese and English. But would you say Chinese was your first language? 他刚刚讲到他妈妈是台湾人，那他的母语应该是中文吧，还是其实是英文？他说他爸爸是美国人，但中文非常好哦，跟妈妈讲话都是用中文沟通，然后加上他在台湾出生长大，所以呢，基本
借厕所，来哦，来借一下，借一下厕所,、yeah, 所,所，可以借一下厕所吗？<笑>我可以、呃，对，不好意思，失陪了，我借一下厕所。Um, yeah, and what would that mean in in English? What does that mean? In English, if if you translate, direct translation, direct translation of 借厕所 is I want to borrow the bathroom. Yeah, and like, what are you thinking when someone says that to you? <laughs> I want to borrow the bathroom. Yeah, and you're just like, well. Uh, no, that's mine, or it's a part of my apartment, or my house, or my restaurant. <laughs> But yeah, what what would be the better thing to say?、Uh, the better thing would say、uh, would be to say,、um, uh, "May I use the bathroom?" Yeah, yeah, use right that verb of use. Or, excuse me, is it okay if I use the bathroom? Yeah, but borrow, <laughs> borrow. It's like you, yeah, it, it's、You're、not something. Take it home. It's not something tangible you could pick up and then you know、right. take away for a bit and then get back to you. Yeah.、Right? Can you share then any tips with、uh, with our listeners here on NG English about language learning? 那讲了这么多，现在我们要来请 Edwin 他跟大家分享一些 tips， 一些学英文的小 pebble。那就跟我们之前很多其他来宾讲的一样，他说 full immersion 这个沉浸式。把自己沉浸在全英文的环境里面，通常是很好的一个方法。但是我们要先做好心理准备，就说要面对很多问题，很多 confusions， 因为一开始一定听不懂，会很多混乱。不过也不用太担心，这是正常的，因为你在学嘛，难免会搞不懂很多事情啊。只是一定要有耐心，要持之以恒，相信 at some point， 在未来有一天呢，一定会学起来。这样在最后也提到说。大家真的要有耐心，要 be patient， 不断反复去练习。久而久之，你就会不知不觉的在潜意识里面，这样子 subconsciously 就会自然一切融会贯通。I like to say when you when you try to learn something new, full immersion is often a good way to do it. And you need to know that if you do fully immerse yourself in with certain people who speak the language, you're going to be confused a lot of the time. But you'll find that over time, if、uh, let's say you're taking class, right? So you do your homework, and at the same time, you're trying to use it as much as possible in conversational uh, uh, situations, and then you're listening as well. So all those different skills are gradually developing together, but they just haven't. Met at you know the optimal point yet?、Mm, they haven't blossomed. They haven't blossomed. Yeah. So, so you、speak. got the right ingredients. It sounds like you got the sunshine and you you got the seed in the soil. <laughs> But when does it become a flower? When、right. does it become right? So I think a lot of people might, a lot of new English speakers might be flustered at first and and、um, impatient. But you need to know that just it just comes with the territory. You just need to, you know, have faith in the fact that it will click at some point. To sum up, kind of what you were just saying so beautifully is subconsciously you will get the message, the gist, as you say it, over time. And I think that's a really hard thing because we live in an age sometimes where everything happens so fast. But if you can just be patient and continue to apply yourself in that language, you will get the meaning over time. So I think that's really, really、yeah. nice. Our last question here on NG Ingwen is: If you could go back to a young Edwin, is there any advice you would give yourself? 访谈最后呢，我们一样要来问问季雅文 Edwin， 他如果可以回到过去跟小时候的自己说说话，他有没有什么建议想要给小 Edwin 嘞？他说啊，他会想要建议小时候的自己 read more。多看一点书，因为啊，学一个语言除了 auditory 这个听力听觉很重要，要会听懂各个不同的字以外呢，视觉方面的刺激这个练习也是不能荒废。你要多看书，才会知道说，哎，原来常常听到的这个字是哪个字，长什么样子，怎么拼，怎么写等等哦。要学会 associate 结合这个听力跟阅读力，把这两个做连接才行。这样子呢，才会帮助你吸收，帮助你 absorb 更多，学到更多。最后呢，进而把学到的这些转化成口说能力，建立出你平常日常绘画里面会用到的一些智慧啦、句型等等。那各位听众朋友，我们赶快来听听最后这段 Edwin 给我们的中心建议吧。I would have done more reading, actually. I would have done more reading, reading of books. More reading of books. Okay, why? Because, I mean, I'm not going to let you off the hook that easy. I know you're not going to let me off the hook. I see, I see that spark on your eye. Oh yeah. Because learning language, you need to be able to recognize certain sounds. So there's the auditory aspect. There's also the visual.、Uh, the visual is associated with the words on paper, right? You need to be able to associate. You know, have those two link. So the more you read, 
ju- it's just the the better it is. You'll be able to absorb more, mm-hmm. and you'll be able to turn that into conversational English. So, my friend, thank you again for making some time for us. Lastly, can you share? I know you're not a huge fan of the social media, but can anyone find your your handsome face anywhere on the world wide web? Yeah, I am a relative noob to so to uh, Instagram. Ooh, fun find, new word, fun yeah. new word, friends. Noob. How do you spell that? N O O B. Correct. <laughs> I used to think it was N U B E. Um, you can find me at Edwin two underscores Gerard G E R A R D. Beautiful. All right, my man. Well, thank you again for coming in and joining us on our ICRT show today, and we'll talk to you soon. And we'll see you hopefully for some more charity events. Thank you, John. Looking forward to it. All right, my friend. Well, thanks again, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. All righty. That is our NG Ingwin show for today. We hope everyone enjoyed listening to that. Don't forget to connect with us on Instagram or Facebook. You can search NG Ingwin, or you can search NG English I-C-R-T. And make sure to tune in each week, Wednesday morning from 6.30 to 7, and Wednesday night from 9 to 9.30. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. 好，那我们今天新平方的节目 NG 英文就到这边告一段落啦。感谢大家的收听，别忘了到 IG 搜寻我们的粉丝专业 NG 底线 English 在底线 ICRT。那大家也要记得每周三早上六点半到七点，或是晚上九点到九点半，把广播调到 ICRT 频道 FM 一百，准时收听我们节目哦。那也欢迎大家上网搜寻西平方的“攻其不备”课程，或者是呢到我们西平方的官网多读读一些有关 NG 英文的专栏文章，看看在 NG 英文里面的专栏有没有哪些是大家可以吸收学起来的一些小 p e o p l e 哦。我们下次见了，拜拜。